So I loved how this little girl's room turned out. Um, I kept it very simple without anything on the walls on this wall. I made the headboard out of um, pallet wood that I just had laying around. The nightstand um, was just from my room. I had to buy the cute little uh, zebra lamp. And then I just cleared everything out, like decluttered. Try to keep it very simple because it is a small room. It's only a nine by 10 um, and keep the toys, you know, to a minimum, but stick with a the theme. There's this cute little nook back here for books. Um, so I just pretty much took everything out of there. You want everything to be very streamlined. Um, oh, the closet doors weren't here when we bought the house. Um, well, they were here, they just weren't up. So we painted them, they were that ugly 80s brown, and we added silver knobs. Right. Your closet, so you wanna declutter. And actually, for showing, I didn't even have those bins there, but I put them back since we're starting to move. Um, and even the clothes, I didn't have that many clothes in there. She had this cute little vanity, so I left that in there, and then the doll bed. The floors um, I laid myself. I really like the floors a lot. They're not very clean right now, sorry. Um, on this wall, I just did a cute little cityscape that I got. I think I got like that for $30. I think it was at Walmart. That's the most I think I paid for anything. I already had the princess um, hook, and then I did the hat. I already had the hat. I already had the lamp, the dresser. I had it was mine as a kid, but I just painted it black and added the silver knobs. Curtains I already had. Um, the dog did not come with the bed. <laughs> um, this bedding I already had from Ikea. There was a bunk bed in here before um, where it was like a top bunk bed um, with, you know, it was open below, but it was just too big for the room for showing. So. I didn't have a frame for this bed because it was part of the bunk bed. So I just took the metal piece, well you can't really tell, but from the bunk bed. And then I just added cinder blocks on the bottom. You can't really see up there. And I used the cinder block to hold the headboard. So it just gives the illusion of it being on a frame. But I didn't want to invest in a frame. I mean, they're not very expensive, but I didn't want to get one since this one was going to go back to being a bunk bed. Um, so that's it for this cute little room.